I may have just encountered one of the worst humans alive. <laughs> I was waiting for a parking spot in an area that is always busy, always hard to get a parking spot. This guy walks to his car. I'm just out of the roundabout. I've got an, there's enough space behind me for one other car, but he needs to be quick, otherwise I'm holding up the roundabout. I wait 30 seconds, he turns his car on, I see all the lights go on, and then all the lights go off. I wait another 30 seconds because some, maybe he's just doing something. Normally they know that you have to get out of this parking spot really quickly, out of respect for the people that are waiting. People behind me are beeping at this point. It had literally only been, okay, maybe maximum one minute, maximum, but I, I would say around 30 to 45 seconds. I give up, I'm scared, I'm pressured from all the people behind me, I drive off. He's, Windows down, he, he looks at me and he goes, <laughs> He was per He knew I was waiting and he was making me wait. I could see his window too, so I was waiting to see if he was like gonna signal to, to go forward because he's not leaving, because normally you would do that if you're not leaving. He didn't do anything. Scumbag. And then, sorry, no, not and then. The worst kind of driver on planet Earth are the ones that go 20 k's under the speed limit in a single lane road and then as soon as there's an overtaking lane they speed up 10 k's over the speed limit so you can't overtake them so you get stuck behind them again and then the road goes back to one lane and they go back down to 20 k's under the speed limit i would love 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 to get inside their brain like that is a psychopath in the making absolutely no doubt about it i still haven't even opened any of these beautiful tim tams because i just haven't felt like it which is crazy because i wouldn't have been able to have a pack of tim tams in the house because i'd eat the whole thing like i said to reese i've said to reese so many times you can't buy xyz food because i'll just eat it all i have no willpower the only reason I felt that way was because I restricted myself from the food that I wanted to eat because I thought I could only have it as a treat at certain times. So then what happens when you restrict yourself from something, you want it 10,000 times more and then you have no self-control because you're like, oh my God, your brain's like, oh my God, this is forbidden. This is like a gold mine. I have to eat all of it. When food is just food and it has no moral, <laughs> no moral value, it's just more or less nutritious, that desire, that like, that, oh my God, this is so special. I need to eat the whole thing now. Disappears completely and it just becomes plain food. <laughs> it just doesn't become exciting. It's no, it's no longer exciting because it's always there. You can have it whenever you want it. So your brain doesn't think it's some kind of treat, some kind of reward. It's just a bit of food that tastes better than most of the other bits of food in the cupboard. Granted, obviously, everything in moderation, and I guess that's where I've always had that mindset of just like, oh, there's a little pigeon at the door. Hey, darling. It just went. <laughs> just walked off. Anyway, I'm getting sidetracked. I'm going to try the decadent triple chop. Like, you should see our cupboard right now. It's full of goodies. And none of it is really that appealing to me most of the time because... <laughs> I can have it whenever I want it. It's crazy. It's crazy how the mind works. Anyway. Oh, it smells like chocolate brownies. I've never tried this one before. I was going to buy it recently, but I thought, I thought it was like double coat and then also more chocolate or something. But I guess it's just normal coat, a chocolate biscuit, extra chalk and extra gooey center. Huh. Irresistible milk chocolate coating with extra chalk covers, well, with extra chalk, covers two crunchy biscuits, luscious, velvety chalk cream, and extra gooey chalk center. Let me think about this. I don't know. It's delicious. I mean, that's kind of like a given, right? It's a Tim Tam. It's going to be good. It's not as good as a double coat. The, in, the, the center in the middle is nice but i like the inside of the normal tim tam 
so i may not be the perfect demographic and i'm also not a chocolate flavor fanatic i'm more of a vanilla girl or like lemon or that kind of thing so they are good though i don't think you would buy these and be disappointed but they're not heavily like chalk <laughs> interesting okay something different it's like i'll describe this as a different take on a normal tim tam but with relatively the same flavor profile hey sweetheart i wonder if this is my little gal who's always around no, i don't think it's her oh maybe it is her one of them has brought me a little passion fruit husk. <laughs> it's not a husk, it's just the shell of an old passion fruit. Kept some little fluff there from, for the willy wagtail. What are you doing there? I'm not talking to you. She thinks I'm talking to her because I'm using my hey memes voice. <laughs> On the menu today. I'm not even going to make this video one that is like cooking the food. I'm going to tell you why I'm obsessed with HelloFresh. There are so many recipes that we like to try, but we don't want to buy the full size item. For example, I don't eat feta cheese. I don't want to have to buy a whole container and then have it go to waste. That is the exact amount that I need for this meal. HelloFresh seasonings are amazing. And again, you just pour the whole amount in. There's no measuring. The perfect amount of vegetable stock powder. We've got spinach sweet potato, an apple, and a carrot. Again, you only get sent what you need. And because you're not having to go out and buy the full size of all of these ingredients, you're actually inclined to try different types of recipes and you're not stuck in the same routine every single week. We've even had meals where they send you a little truffle oil. I bought truffle oil before because I love it so much, but I still don't go through it fast enough and it ended up expiring with like half a bottle left. So in this situation, I get the exact kind of meal that I want. I'm trying something different. I'm not having to commit to the full item, the full product. I don't have to buy it, I don't have to waste it, which is bad for the environment, bad for my wallet, because I'm just wasting money on things that I'm not using. And I'm talking about people like me who are less inclined to be experimental with cooking and who just want things to be really easy. And that's also the best thing about these cars you can see how it's meant to look. You can see what you need. There's pictures at every single step telling you what to do, what ingredients you have, how many of each ingredients. It's just, like, there is nothing easier than this. But we have had these before and they are probably my favorite of the HelloFresh fritters. The special seasoning that they have, with this particular flavor and the feta. Mm. Don't forget you can use my code HelloLoz to get up to $140 off and that is for new and past customers guys how good i could be a daughter or salesman of hello fresh like that's how much i genuinely love it i think the key to getting my hair to look nice when i do like a blowout look is to straighten it first i tried everything to make my hair look really sleek when i blow dry it uh but i just don't have that technique down pat in the way that I need to to achieve the look that I'm going for I think and whenever I'm in the hairdressers any hairdresser that I've been to they use the blow dryer for so long and I'm like surely this is just as bad for my hair as using a straightener <laughs> um, so I think I'm just going to start, start doing that like straighten it first then go in with this attachment and just kind of flick out the ends um, and I've used all different products and I just haven't noticed a difference so I think I'm just going to do that because it looks so much nicer than straight hair, but it's still sleek, which is why I like straight hair. It's just shiny and sleek and silky, which I can't get at the moment using any of the products or techniques. Yeah, when I don't use a straightener and blow dry my hair, it kind of makes my hair look unhealthy. Like the ends look more ratty and it just kind of looks like, like more like straw. Whereas when I straighten it, my hair looks so healthy. I guess it just smooths all the frazzled ends. Not frazzled ends, it just smooths all like the fuzzy bits going all the way down. Because my hair isn't in fine condition, like it's good, it's not bad at all. And I haven't got it cut in ages, I'm getting it cut soon. But I think that's probably why. It just makes it look healthier, uh, which is ironic considering I'm probably damaging it. But I used to straighten my hair all the time before we moved like, a couple of years ago. And my hair was long and healthy. I think my hair can just 
put up with it. And that was like before using heat protectant spray. I wasn't even using heat protectant spray then. We've come a long way. <laughs>